Right, well, I'll tell you about the materials that I got. This this is so simple. I like it because there's no uh, you don't have to go to the art store. You don't have to buy books. You don't have to take a class. Everything you can need, you get at the hardware store. Home Depot, my favorite store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody's favorite store. Everybody's sure. favorite store. Yeah. So, but if you're going to do, if you were to do this, um, I got some um, wire. This wire that I use, and I've got a piece here that I can pass around. This is the wire that they use for rebar when they're tying rebar together for concrete to reinforce concrete. It's it has no memory at all. You can bend it, and it'll stay wherever you bend it. And if you double it and triple it, of course, it gets stronger much stronger. So that's kind of what I did. I started doing that, playing with it, and then I decided I needed to make, um, okay, first of all, the tools that you're going to need to do this. You can do this or these things. All you need is a pair of pliers, white glue, scissors, and uh, tape or rubber bands, or I use um, um, clothespins as clips. Hold things together while they glue. So I put the wires overlap, mm -hmm. wrap string around them, tie them together, and put white glue on them. That holds them together and keeps them sort of stable in the, where they need to be. Then I just cover it with um, old business cards. <laughs> I've got plenty of those. <laughs> because they're the right side and they're stiff enough. You put the, the, if you take the cards and you dip them in water, they become pretty loose but they soon dry to be very stable and they will keep the shape that you bend them into. So then you can glue them to the wire, then that becomes the base for the for what is on the outside, which is this wood filler. And then you can sand it and play with it and you do whatever you want with it. It's fun works fine. What kind of wood filler is it? This is just this is Ace Hardware wood filler. Okay. Plain old everyday wood filler. This is kind of what this is some things I've been playing with. This has got Wire mesh, I use, I use that wire mesh too as, as one of the things. And you can put the wood filler on it, or you can sand it off, you can do whatever you want to do with it. It's pretty, pretty easy to work, you can bend it. It's pretty darn easy stuff to work with. So what I, to, to, to do this fish, I decided to do a fish because my, my daughter's sign. So we can do a fish for her, her birthday coming up. So I went, first of all I went on the internet to find what a fish looks like. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many different fish, you know. I thought, first I'll do a koi fish, and what I did to decide to modify it, so I made him bigger and made changed him the way I wanted to do. So then I went ahead and and I made made my fish just like this. I put, I made a wire that was right clear around his perimeter, the vertical wire. And it goes around its perimeter, so you know that defines then the shape of the fish. And then you put in bulkheads. Find my banner. If I put in bulkheads, you know, clear down through here, anywhere at all, and you put those down, that defines the shape of the fish in this direction. So then you make Make them this tall here, and then you make one this tall here, and you keep going, put them as close together as you want to, and that defines what it's going to look like. Then I decided that I didn't like him just looking like that. It wasn't interesting. So I twisted it, gave it, to just, just took it and manhandled it and twisted it to what I wanted it to be, and applied the, uh, the business cards and then started putting this, the wood filler over the top of that. And then you just sand it off. Pretty easy. I mean, really, pretty darn easy. <laughs> so that's, so, and that was the first one I did in that same style. I just put, used my hands on that to give him the rough, rough texture of the, of the hair. And for his belly, I tried using a, an old uh, rub, a dog's ball, a little rubber ball. Didn't work, didn't work. Stuffed him with newspapers, so that's got, he's stuck with newspapers, his whole <laughs> belly, it really ties like you get it. Then I could put the, um, the, uh, the wood filler over the top of that, smoothed it up. I used, to keep it clean looking from the base, I put saran wrap underneath his feet. I wrapped the whole 
board with saran wrap, built him up, finished him up, took it off, and then I used to paint the board, I used coffee. Yeah. Just left over yesterday's coffee, and, and coffee grounds and whatever, kind of give it a texture and let it dry, and then, then just a damp cloth that you can rub off where you want to rub it off, and, that, and then seal it, give it a seal, and that's, that's what that is. What did you use to make his head that small and yeah. hard to manipulate? The, the, that's kind of cool. The neck, if you look at the neck, I took the same wire and I just wrapped it around the pencil. And that became his neck. And then I, I took a little some wire and I just folded it up, crunched it up. And because this stuff, you can build it up to be an inch thick or whatever you want. And I just filled it in, filled it in, gave him some horns, which were the... Uh, more of the same wire, mm -hmm. you know, looking at photographs of uh, Picasso's critter. So I think, please, but now I'm so pleased with that. So I'm, now I'm, part, I'm now, the next one I'm going to do, I just decided this morning, it's <laughs> well, going to be a pig. I'm going to do a large <laughs> pig sitting down on his rear legs and kind of looking out over, and he's going to be on my our deck, and he's going to be looking at my barbecue pit with kind of a snarl on his head. <laughs> I thought, that'd be kind of cool. Because this, this stuff is stable, it's, it's, it's water resistant. But if you paint it like with an exterior house paint, boom, it's there. Wow. Yeah, so it came out, I'm just delighted with this. I'm going to have sculptures all over my house. <laughs> I'll be selling them to you guys. <laughs> I'll bring them in. Here, please, please. Anyway, that's pretty much what it is. And so I've got one other thing I want to show you, which is a variation on this. Exterior house paint. But, I mean, on the details of the fish. The oh, coat. the details? I haven't decided what, is this a koi fish or is it a whale? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> it could be either one. <laughs> or maybe it's a whale dressed up like a koi fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So those decisions come later. Okay, so this is, this is the beginning of a man. Wire man, will he stay there? Yes, he will. So I just took a, made a drawing of a man, noted where his elbows are, his knees, his waist, his hips, his shoulders, just all the joints. So you know where all the joints are, and that's where the, like, these are his elbows, these are his knees, and there's his shoulders. So that's where I started. You take that rascal, and then, Then I just bent it. So you just bending, just at the joints, wherever you want to bend it. And, and then put on some your filler and, and something to seal it off with. And this is this is the result. I can find the nail. There it is. Okay, so this guy. Rock climber. Rock climber. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I love it. cool. Is that kind of cool or what? That is very cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that is very cool. Yeah. So this goes to my grandson who, who fashions his stuff to be a rock climber, and he's got a picture of Half Dome, which he says he's going to do someday. Nah, he'll never do it. <laughs> so, anyway, so this. There's going to be three of these guys, his rock, his cord, or his rope, will hang from the ceiling all the way to the floor. Then I will position him and two, two of these companions at about six feet high, so it looks like they're all yes. three of them companions are all kind of hanging. Different, mm. There'll be different handholds, and, and that's going to be that you know, really cool. his, his present for his birthday. Wow. That yeah. is really neat. That's I think that's pretty cool. That is yeah, cool. that is very cool. <laughs> yes, and it just starts out, you know, all you need is just get a drawing off the, off the computer of a man, any, and just start with the wires. It's pretty, pretty simple to do. How long does it take you to usually finish a sculpture? I usually take a break for, 
for who knows how long, from time to time. I, I can't just sit down and do, 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 do. I can't do that. So, first thing you have to do is decide what, on this guy then, what, how do you want to position his hands. And depending on where you put his hands is how he's leaning on the rock. So if you put his hands forward so that the, the rope is between his knees, that means there's more weight on his head so it'll be bent backwards. So you have to decide where to put his hands and get the, the proper leverage. So this guy probably took me, my first, my first guy probably took me, how many hours? I would say maybe 75 hours. Maybe. And there was a lot of changing and sanding and filling and... And how long does the wood filler take to completely dry before you can do that? I put it on like in the evening. It's dry to sand the next morning. And I mean, I put it on thick. Oh, okay. If you put it on thin, like it's supposed to be used, a couple of hours. Okay. And of course, if the weather is hot and it really takes no time at all. Okay. Somewhere and online I got a PDF of gesture gesture drawings and they're just they, they look like your wire figures only they're in all different kind of shapes doing things yes would be a good thing to absolutely have. <laughs> you could make this guy you know he could be a dancer he could be a rodeo rider he could be a you know scuba diver a beautiful ballet dancer beautiful yeah, ballet dancer. <laughs> boxers this could be like two guys boxing could be anything you want. Really. Well, there's mannequins that you, you that you can move. Right? Yeah, That's you just you just bend him at the joints. As long as you know where the joints are, a pair of pliers, you bend him and move him around just like you would. Yeah. And like I say, the wire is has no memory at all. It doesn't care. It stays right where you want it to be every time. Right. How <laughs> many layers do you need? You know to. Well, this guy, I sanded him off a lot. I had him really fit because I was thinking he'd be wearing really heavy clothes. And I didn't like the look of it. It just looked really bulky. And, and also, when you hang him, he would hang differently. He would hang this way, depending on if you put more up here. He would, the oh, yeah. strength yeah. is there, and he would tend to do that. If I put more on his feet, he would go this way. So it kind of... Kind of a, but it looks good being very minimalist. Yeah. I like, and I like, there's no face. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> I, would, I would change everything to start doing that kind of stuff. Right. There's no shoes. It's all going to be one color. I'm not sure what color, but... Your grandson's going to love it. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And there will be three of them, so they'll be... Yeah. Wow. That's That'll amazing. be really cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I'm really looking forward to hearing them doing it. You're so open for anything that you want to do with that. Yeah. I mean, adding muscle tone or whatever the thing exactly. is, whatever your mind tells you want to do. You could put. You're open for anything. Yeah, you could put a, a dog on his back if you wanted to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you wanted to do, backpack or you know radio antennas or whatever. You wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you wanted to do. And I like I like the wire. The wire, I like a lot. That's just the screening, off the screening you get from the hardware store, Home Depot. That is great. It stretches. So metal screening would be better than the fiberglass because you could bend it. Yes, yeah. yeah, it will. It will stretch. It does take a shape. It's kind of hard to make it into a shape, but once you get it there, hey, super glue. I mean, just white glue, glue it in place, stay right there. I'm not safe with super glue. I know. Or what that is. That is very cool. I Don't bring him in here again, please. <laughs> so that's really breakable, right? No. No? And, you know, if it were to fall, it might crack or it might chip. But you just, you know, just add some more of this on the sand oh. and off and it's fine. Wow. It's no big deal. Really no big deal. Oh, here's an idea I had, but I can't sell it to anybody. I thought it'd be fun on like somebody's desk. You've always got photographs of your grandkids. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. I thought it'd be fun to do the same thing like this. Oh, that's neat. Isn't yes. that kind of cool? Oh my goodness. Is that one of your watercolors? Yeah, I did it. I'm just kind of that's fooling around. Beautiful. I thought it'd be kind of fun if you had, instead of a photograph, Maybe this is what you have on your desk. Oh, I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Why couldn't you sell it? 
I didn't really work at it very hard. It doesn't matter, it's great. So tell us about how you did that. Yeah. That is, I took a, a, just a piece of um, thin plywood or any thin, really thin board, and I, I knew what it was going to look like, so I traced it onto this piece of board and just took a saw and just saw it around and left the border on the outside. And then the back is just another piece of scotch tape to the front to give it a, give it a leg that sticks up, you know. And that could be, it could be, it could be somebody on a horse, you know, you could do that. Anything like that. So like you those. painted it on the paper and then you glued it on? Is that no, what you, no, no I traced it. it. I made a drawing and then I traced the drawing on, onto this piece of board. And then you painted it on then the I board. Painted this, so this is painted on the board. It's like those guys things that are out in the fields on the yeah. reverse. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in fact, that's where I got the idea. Go. I thought I could do a full size, full size of these in my grandson. God, they're really cool. Yeah. You know? Mm. In his parents' house by the mm -hmm. fireplace or whatever. I think that'd be a great idea. Mm -hmm. So we can come up and see what you Sure, please do. Nicely nice. done, brother. Beautifully done. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited about this stuff because because I'm a cheapskate. This <laughs> material is cheap, and because it's so cheap, I don't care if I screw it up. You know, I feel free enough to just screw it up, throw it away, and start over. Well, I like the tactile part of it too. Yeah, I like being able to touch and feel and yes, yes, hands on. Yeah, hands on and and three dimensional. I like the fact that I can see the other side of a painting. You know, really, yeah. you know, David. I, in a painting, I can't see what's going on in the back. Right. Yeah, please come up and take a look.